kicking off our week seven episode with our nine overtime game of the week. This one a good one. Tonight's game of the week is a District 1-4-A Division One matchup between two teams playing some of its best football. It's the Urban Rockets and Mountain View Lobos squaring off at Lobo Stadium. Both teams riding two game winning streaks heading into tonight. We start off in the first quarter. It's Urban striking first. Dallas Medina to Michael Salazar. Irvin goes up 7 0. Ed Irvin, you know, really impressive football so far, right? What the mind can conceive and believe it can achieve. Coach Elliott coming in strong. But Mountain View is going to have an answer. They are going to tie this game up at sevens apiece in the second quarter. And then we're later in the second as well. Irvin is going to come back and get another piece of an action. Six points in the end zone right there. And that's still in the second quarter here. Jason, this kid Omar Navarro's got to watch out for him, right? Yeah, this guy's the real deal when it comes to Mountain View. Um, you know, he's a home run hitter, man. If you give him the rock, he wants to take it to the house every single time. 75 yards there for Navarro's as uh, Mountain View ties the game there. And then uh, moments before halftime, Irvin decides to go to Diego Grijalva. Grijalva going 19 yards for the touchdown. Irvin up 20 to 14 after they missed extra point. Third quarter now, Irvin on offense. Mountain View decides to take that ball back. It's an interception by Gio Rodriguez. Irvin up seven, excuse me, by two scores. And then here was the Mountain View score that made it a one score game. It's Matthew Slozar to Chris Mendoza. Again, that touchdown cut it to one score, but Irvin managed to hang on for the win 27 to 21. Let's send things over to Jesus Baltazar, who is live with the winning head coach, John Elliott, and Irvin star player, Michael Salazar. Hey guys, Irvin has traveled on the road far east to take a W, 27 to 21, over the Mountain View Lobos. I'm joined now by Irvin head football coach, John Elliott. Coach, um, if I can bring you in here. So, Let's talk about this game. You guys um, went into the half, taking the lead 2014. Ultimately, your defense was stout in the second half. Mountain View scored late in the game, but ultimately, it always felt like you guys had control of, the, of this game. Tell me what went into that halftime speech to get your team to um, be strong on defense in the second half. Well, really, it was basically just stay together. You know, play for each other, um, listen to your coaches. They got the adjustments for you guys. Um, but. We've, we've came into these games a few times where towards the end it starts to get close again um, and uh, just basically tell them to finish the job. You know, finish the job. We've been preaching it all week. We've got to play a, a complete game all four quarters. Um, and it's been the story all season. You know, offense is, is riding high. Defense um, might have a, a few holes in, in, in the back end. And then when the offense is struggling, the defense has our back. So uh, it's been a... Uh, the story all season and nothing's changed and so um it's pretty much what we've been preaching to him at halftime coach it's your uh first year on the job with Irvin. um early in the week you spoke about the kids buying into the culture you're setting you guys are now three and one in district heading into the second half of the season how does that make you feel and what are the goals uh, to finish off the season oh uh, well, we just take it one week at a time we've been telling them since day one that you guys are a, you know a championship caliber team um and we're starting to hit that mid-season form where the kids are starting, I think, to figure it out that, hey, we can do this. Um, <clears throat> just stay on the course is really what it says. Coach, congrats. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm joined now by, joined now by Irvin's two-way star, Michael Gonzalez. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Michael, uh, you had a touchdown reception early in the game, and then you had what seems to be a game uh, winning inter interception towards the end. Tell me a little bit about that effort, how you adjust being a wide receiver, a defensive back, and coming up with two crucial uh, plays in the first half and in the second. Well, being playing both ways is kind of hard. It's difficult. You have to learn a lot of stuff. But I tell myself just focus on one thing and one thing only, get my mind right. And being able to do it, what I did for my team is pretty awesome, pretty good. How do you feel now? You guys are 3-1 and one in district play. You're putting yourself in a strong position to finish off the season, hopefully get a playoff berth to, towards the end. How does that make you feel? Um, like, I can't even explain. It's like really awesome. I get, like, we get to do this for our team. It's like a team thing. And just being able to go that far with our team is just awesome and great. Congrats again, man. Thank you. 
And that'll do it for our nine overtime game of the week. Again, the Irvin Rockets went on the road, taking the win 27-21 over the Mountain View Lowe's. That'll do it for, you, for us here tonight. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Jesus, thank you. Jason, I'm going to start with you. Takeaways from your alma mater. Yeah, you see how I'm tucking like this for Sam. A uh, huge win for the Rockets. Uh, you know, uh, Coach Elliott just brought in a new scheme, new uh, culture, and the kids are buying in. So shout out to the Urban Rockets. Yeah, Jay, and as the official alum of uh, the oh. Urban Rockets, uh, <laughs> if you've been paying attention to Coach Elliott and the Urban Rockets, um, they've been getting better. They've been putting pieces together week by week. Uh, we haven't seen an Urban team like this in years, and uh, it's exciting uh, being a former Rocket, Jay, uh, that, uh, that we see them getting wins like this. Yep. Gosh. Well, Irvin making these two former <laughs> very Rockets proud. very proud. So, uh, again, Irvin coming out on top of this game, 27-21. Uh, to 21.